everyone and welcome back to another training adventures video today i'm going to be reading your in real life horse experiences i'm super excited to read these because i also ride myself and i always love to hear other people's experiences with horses i got a lot of submissions which i'm so grateful but some of them are pretty lengthy so i'm gonna try to get through them as quickly as possible so that i can make sure that i get to read everybody's submissions so let's go ahead and get started i am so happy you guys it is finally the fall season i have a candle going right next to me and i have this nice fall preset for you all i'm just i'm so thrilled i this is my favorite time of year also i still haven't fixed my keyboard i still have this very noisy keyboard so i just apologize in advance i'm working on getting those keyboard switches but anyways knocking the first jump starting off great <laughs> the first submission comes from Pluto Ludo and it says I was riding back to the barn after my lesson which ended in the cross country field when I got back my horse either spooked at my foot wiggling or another horse bumping into him not sure but he sped up a lot and I fell off into gravel smiley face that sounds so painful and I swear the horses choose their moments of when they're gonna spook right in the perfect spot so if there's a giant body of water or mud or gravel in your case they're just gonna decide that something's so scary and they're gonna throw you off so you have to suffer i still love them anyway but it's what it feels like <laughs> and it's so hard to stay on when they do those weird speed movements because you're never seeing it coming so you're just chilling especially after a lesson like that if your horse just takes off and you were relaxed and about to get off it's so hard to stay on <laughs> the next submission is from autumn candle hope and it says somebody bent down in front of my horse and he grabbed her by the hair um that is so concerning oh my goodness i mean you gotta be careful horses are still animals they you know sometimes your hair can suspiciously look like hay or grass or something so never have your back turned for too long around horses they might just take a bite out of your hair <laughs> that might traumatize me a little bit to be honest i am always having my hair up around horses from now on thank you for letting me know of that <laughs> the next one comes from daisy blueberry foot and it says i was at a barn show and i was going to jump and i lost my balance and fell on the poles that's terrible i'm so sorry that happened but to be honest everybody goes through a humbling experience like that at some point in their riding career but it is really sad that it happened during a show and that you fell on the poles those poles are oops okay those poles are not soft they are solid wood so it always hurts when you fall on the poles but riding is so much about balance if you just have a moment where the horse shifts their weight or drops their shoulder you're done for so don't be ashamed of that it happens to everyone the next submission comes from asn.mira and it says according to my mom when i was four and at a fair i got put on a pony ride and the pony started running into the woods with me and i somehow stayed on probably exaggerated though ponies can be so interesting they are little demons sometimes <laughs> and they love to take advantage of children <laughs> that sounds terrible i mean there are so many sweet little ponies but the majority of them are always looking for trouble that is a scary experience especially as a four-year-old that is a little bit scary i probably would never forget that if that happened to me but i'm glad that you stayed on that's so impressive horses know how to not run into trees and stuff but they would be like dodging and, and cutting and all of those things running full speed that's really hard to stay on the next one is from Seagree. I hope I pronounced that right. It says, the first time I rode a horse, I got bucked off and had a ginormous bruise on my thighs. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. I'm so sorry. Horse riding is definitely not for the faint of heart. You can get so easily hurt when you fall off a horse. Getting bucked off is just, it's such an experience. I feel like it's a rite of passage for riding horses, but that's so sad that that happened the very first time that you rode a horse because <laughs> that's just a bad way to start i feel like it can be wow i literally ran right into that tree i feel like that's just very discouraging because it can be scary falling off and falling off after you rode for the first time i feel like just sets you up to be really anxious when you're riding so i hope you're able to get back on and overcome that fear if it's something that scared you and i hope your second riding experience was a little bit less painful the next submission is an anonymous one and it 
it says i once had a coughing fit that got so bad i didn't get enough air and then i threw up and spooked the horse <laughs> oh my goodness i love that you put sparkles there like it was a glamorous experience that is absolutely terrible i'm so sorry i don't know if you were in a hot climate but i have known so many people that this has happened to in the hot weather it's just it happens you get overheated some horses are saints about it others are like what the heck just happened <laughs> it's kind of funny though i don't know why i just feel like in the moment that would make me laugh so hard if that happened because <laughs> it's just like what even just happened i feel like i would just be shocked that it even happened and your horse is probably just as shocked as you the next submission is from nancy friendstream and it says my nan booked up for me to have a riding lesson because she knew i played star stable and assumed i wanted to ride horses oh i'm sorry i am not paying attention to this race it was a surprise and when i got there i panicked and refused to ride the horse oh no horses can be really intimidating especially if you were a small child i hate this race this is the worst possible race to do while you're trying to read something i just cannot do two things at once so this next submission is a little bit lengthy so hang in there it's from equestrian weep and it says this doesn't sound true but it is so it was my very first time jumping bareback i did western for five years before trying english and i was on an eight-year-old mare named maddie my sister was on a paint named hudson the jumps were small so i thought it would be fine so i went first we trotted to the first jump but she cantered over and that was fine but once she got going she didn't stop so i tried to get her to slow or stop but she wouldn't we ran around the arena once and for my arena there is a small hall that leads to a pasture and a door leading to the tack room and maddie ran into that small hall and since it was for people to walk through or horses to be led through she ran at it and i had to throw myself from her back and to the ground before my face hit into the top half of the door that is crazy i'm glad that you are okay hopefully that is a little bit wild that they let you jump on the first lesson after only doing western what might have happened was if the horse cantered over it and you weren't ready for the jump to be as powerful as it was if you kind of flew up and hit the horse's back on the landing your horse might have just been like oh shoot are you telling me to go and that's like one of my worst fears the horse is most likely gonna run somewhere where they feel safe so in that case it was running to that little hallway i'm just so glad you didn't hit your head on the top of the roof that is so scary it almost kind of sounds like a scene from an action movie or something when they wait like four seconds before the character is hit by a train or something crazy <laughs> you were able to save yourself from that situation that's super impressive honestly the next submission is from sso tidestone and it says the first time me and my sister went to ride horses one horse stepped on her foot she was around five years old at that time when she started crying the horse started crying too i think he felt bad now 14 years later she thinks of it as a nice moment of him showing regret and care oh my goodness that's so sweet not sweet that your sister got stepped on but sweet that the horse was upset about it they're so in tune to our emotions and i think too horses are just very gentle with young people i think babies and children most horses kind of know that they're young and so they'll treat them a lot more gently and just kindly oh my goodness gracious what the heck just happened <laughs> that scared me out to death but anyways we shall continue the next one is from dakota straw rider and it says one summer a while ago i remember i went to a beach and there were horses there that you were able to ride and i was a horse lover at the moment and i wanted to ride one so my parents paid for me and my sisters to ride them and i rode the bigger one and i believe her name was bella or something and that was the first time i had ever ridden a horse or ever came in contact with one one, and ever since then i've wanted to ride a horse again oh that's so sweet i feel like every single person who continues to ride horses or has ridden horses remembers that first moment that they ever got the chance to ride a horse it's such a core memory for me i know at least in my experience so that's so great that you got to have that moment the next submission is from adriana skylove and it says a barn owner once put me on an injured horse for a lesson and then unknown 
knowingly, I went back barrel racing and when I just went around the last barrel, the horse threw me off and I nearly paralyzed my hip. I have a permanent hip pain due to it. I know now what was wrong and I warn people about that barn and to never go there. I have horror stories of that place. That is awful. I'm so sorry. It's so sad. I feel like because people in this industry a lot of them don't deserve to have horses and they use horses as a means just to get money and sometimes the horses are severely taken advantage of as well as the clients that are coming to ride those horses. As somebody who owns horses, they should understand that it's their job to educate the clients on how they should be treating their animals. That is 100% not your fault and I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. It's just such a shame that people are willing to harm animals just so that they can have a client pay to ride their horse and I'm so glad that you're avidly warning others about this place and also it's very dangerous for the clients in your case you almost permanently injured yourself I hope that you were able to have some better experiences at other barns the next one is from teacup SSO and it says obviously 12 year old me ain't strong enough to stay on so I fell and the first thing my trainer said was I think you could have landed that on your feet better and stayed on as I got up. Oh my goodness. There are always those trainers who just humble you and boost your character. I think everyone has had that tough trainer that just puts you in your place quite often. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh wow. How did I survive that? Oh, I think there's a massive flat show going on over here. Wow, that's crazy. I have never seen that many people in a flat show at once. I feel like I shouldn't do the races and I shouldn't disturb them. I haven't started yet, so I may try to go ahead and do it now before they start trotting around or something. The next one comes from Maddie Strawberry Luck and it says, I went to a fair and they had a horse riding thing where you sit on a western saddle and someone leads the horse with a halter. The horse is named Whisper and he was about a foot taller than me. I'm 5'6". He was 24 or 25 years old. Hope that was a riding experience. That's definitely a riding experience. Everybody starts at different levels but I will be honest with you that was also my first riding story as I crashed through the jump. I started just at a little country fair and it was so much fun. It's crazy that he was taller than you. Some horses are so tall. I once was consistently riding an 18 hand horse. I don't even know what that would be at the withers of the horse that might be like five seven or five eight at the withers which is shocking the next submission is from ottb dot studios and it says this past summer my off the track thoroughbred and i showed for our first season on the usf a circuit and won almost all of our divisions against all the fancy hunter bred warm bloods it's been so rewarding getting to train him myself and turn him into a solid hunter <laughs> I literally, I give up. I can't do this anymore. I keep crashing into everything. Anyways, let me just start that thought over. I just want to say to you that that is such an amazing accomplishment. You should be so proud of yourself. I know from personal experience, I grew up riding thoroughbreds and also showing them in Hunter Jumper. And that is not an easy task. It can be really difficult, especially in the Yousef A circuit when there are so many thoroughbred, not thoroughbreds, warm bloods showing. You do have to work really hard to get your horse horse in a good spot for the hunter shows not because of the horse's fault it's just they're naturally born with a different way of going and a different way of jumping and a completely different temperament than most warm blood they like to go fast and sometimes it's not the best combo with hunter jumper when you're supposed to be doing graceful slow jumps so that is just such an amazing accomplishment and that just makes me so proud for you and i'm sure you have such a great relationship with your horse i hope that you have have many more wins in your future. The next one comes from SSO Penguin and it says, mine is that I fell off and my ankle got twisted, but I was laughing in pain. Oh no. It's so easy to twist your ankle when you fall off because usually the first thing you land on is your feet and sometimes your balance is off. So you'll just twist your ankle really quickly. The next one is from Lot Spy 999 I'm sorry if I said that wrong. And it says, my cousin rides a pony called Tangle and one week weekend about a year ago i went with her and my aunt to ride tangle and it was so fun i wish i could do it again though okay hold on you're telling me that you rode a pony named tangle that is so adorable oh my goodness 
Pops. I'm really hoping that that pony was a Palomino or something because that would be so cute if you named it after Tangled, the Disney movie. That's so fun that you got to go ride with your family. I hope that you get to do that again because that sounds amazing. The next submission comes from Heldy's Girls and it says, I was at a show and my horse is spooked at this person trotting her horse near us. I was skiing in summer. Oh my goodness. Horses are so funny. They think that a speck of dust floating in the wind is a dragon sometimes. Always be prepared at any moment for them to spook at something. That is so funny. And I don't really know what you mean by skiing in summer. I'm assuming that means that it's really cold in the summer and that's why the horses are kind of on edge. But feel free to explain to me what you meant by that in the comments if you're watching this video. And last but not least, we have a very lengthy submission from PinyTR33. Thank you so much for putting in all the effort to send me this submission. I'm so grateful and I can't wait to read it. And it says, sorry this is a long one. I've been riding for 12-ish years. The first three I spent religiously going on hacks. Sadly, I had to change barns. The new place I went did not offer hacks as often as it was full of rescue horses with many being easily spooked. We typically did liberty work. Yes, it was as beautiful as you think. Eventually, after two years, I went on a hack with the horse I'd been working with. Technically, leasing. However, there was no official documentation. He had come so far in the last two years, so we thought to take him on a quiet trail ride in the countryside. This was on my birthday. Long story short, the horse spooked and bolted, ran through hedges and across fields, which would have been beautiful if he wasn't bolting. <laughs> the horse had gone into lighter fight mode. We were coming to a very low hedge that I knew I wouldn't fit under, so I jumped off the horse and the horse kept galloping. We ended up finding the horse back at the stables, happily eating grass. 40 minute walk away, I found out later that he spooked at another horse and rider who were going for a gallop on the other side of the hedge. Both the horse and I are okay and we continue to do liberty work. However, I have now completely lost my confidence in going on hacks. I've been on a few since, all being good experiences, but I'm, I'm no longer as eager to go out as I was. I just want to start by saying that is so amazing that you do liberty work. That's something that I just respect so much. I think it's so beneficial for horses horses and just so cool to witness and also amazing that your barn has rescue horses that's so sweet and i love that also i'm so sorry that all this happened on your birthday that sounds very scary this is this must be a universal experience almost hitting your head on something when you're riding a horse that is just so unfortunate that your horse happened to see the other rider in the corner of his eye and it just rubbed him the wrong way i guess and he freaked out i know from witnessing it firsthand when things happen like that it's really hard to get back out and do it again but that's so amazing that you were able to to get out again and have that same experience and have a positive moment all right you guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and remember if you'd like to participate in these kinds of videos in the future be sure to stay updated on my instagram story and youtube community tab feel free to leave me a comment if you like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye